Hi, this is Paul from Meter Coffee. Wanted to do a video regarding the Q2 heptagonal grinder and also obviously the pentagonal grinder and sort of talk a little bit about the differences between the two grinders and kind of what you, you would look for. Once you press all, they kind of update their products quite quickly sometimes and there is often some difference between what you might see still available in some people's stores and what the latest kind of iteration is of, of that product um, especially regarding the boxes um, they do update the boxes quite regular and kind of do also little things to the grinders like the the kind of hand grip they'll, they'll change that occasionally and make it a little bit nicer or the the kind of wooden ball on the on the grind handle they occasionally change the shape and maybe even the size and the color even sometimes so you know if you see things advertised and you might you might be a little bit confused about that but in this video i kind of want to talk about mainly what you get with the actual grinder um, the difference in the burrs and what you expect to kind of get out of the different burrs the pentagonal and the heptagonal burrs what they look like and kind of a little bit about the flavor profile that you will get with each different type of burrs um, the grinding This is the Q2 Pentagonal box from maybe about a year ago. They had them in this kind of light blue boxes. So if you see any of these advertised and you're kind of confused about the different colours in the boxes, these are the ones from about just over a year ago. And these boxes, if you're lucky, will still have the, the paper cards, the manual, as you can see there. A nice nice kind of paper manual in in Chinese and in English so if you're lucky enough to still have these then that's good um, and obviously your grind reference chart here again that's in Chinese on one side and in English on the other now once you press those stops including these in the box the same kind of time that they change the color of the box over to the the normal kind of dark black or blue color box and they stopped putting these in here and one of the reasons they quoted was about the Chinese government where they were cutting back on on paper products in manufactured products in China so that's a shame because these are actually really nice things to have and I get asked a lot about these if, if I can still get these grind reference charts and you just can't get them once you press out don't do it anymore so that's that's a real shame but inside the the pentagonal you get obviously your your cloth bag which is that you get obviously your brush and the grind handle in a nice little bubble wrap bag and the actual grinder in this this box here you need to be careful if you take that out because i don't know why but they don't kind of seal these boxes on either end so if you lift it up it kind of can fall out so if you've got one of these just be careful when you take it out yours might have a bit of sellotape or something on there but I, i've been i sold a lot of these grinders and none of them had that so inside of that you're getting obviously your pentagonal grinder and that's that's up there and you can see it's a screw on catch cup like so and your adjustment dial is in the bottom underneath where the catch cup fits on and that's very typical of this type of grinder and you'll see that in a lot of these are kind of entry level stainless steel burr cheaper grinders it's a good grinder it does what it what it's supposed to do um pentagonal burrs are pretty good they work for you know um, french press to pour over it's probably shines better for pour over it's a better you know better pour over i would say than the other things that it grinds for um when you're going finer you're going to go for aeropress and mopper pot 
it's got a good adjustment for that and it's it's consistent so it's good for that um when you get down to down to espresso then this grinder is it's good for espresso but if you're using a pressurized porta filter it'll do that because those grind sizes are very similar to um, mocker pot and aeropress and it'll work pretty well with that it, it works on you know a few different espresso machines that i've tried it on it, it works pretty well for a pressurized porta filler it doesn't have the fine grind adjustments for serious espresso it's not really going to be able to do that very well at all you just don't simply have the you know the grind range for that the microns are too big for this grinder they're 28 so they're just they're just not good for that you might be lucky if you haven't got anything else give it a try it depends on the beans if your beans are a little bit darker then you're probably going to have an easier time if your beans are a little bit lighter or light roast you're going to have a more difficult time because you're going to have to you know adjust your grind size a lot finer than if they were dark roast so that's kind of where you're going to be with that it's it's a good little grinder and it does what it's supposed to do the other grinder the hepigono is in the box like this so you can see these are the updated boxes all of the grinders now get shipped in these kind of dark dark colored boxes now and again you get a card now instead of your your paper manual and your grind reference chart and this has got a qr code that will take you directly to the once you press old fax website and you get some really good information from there so i do suggest that you use that and find out about the grinder how to clean it and how to maintain it and dismantle it and reassemble it it's good information so definitely check that out obviously the bag it's the same it's the same bag as you get with the other grinder there's nothing changed with that exactly the same okay so other than that obviously you're getting the same brush as you do with the, the pentagon you can see there they're the same brush Get that there and you can see a slight difference with this let me just quickly take this out so you can kind of see what i'm talking about with this one um, one thing that once you press all also did for all of the grinders is to start to change the, the plastic the plastic around the edge of the the grind handle and obviously this is to stop popcorning so your beans don't pop out when you're grinding but now they've got like a, a kind of a, a frosted look on these ones you can see there's a difference there um i'm not sure i think they're better or worse you can you can still see the beans through here you can kind of see there it's it's a little bit frosted and a little bit not so easy to see but some people prefer the, the clear ones because you can kind of see through them a little bit easier but yeah they they did that recently they've kind of changed that um the grinder itself is like this so that's your hepigonal pentagonal and you can kind of see they're both exactly the same on the outside obviously the inside's a little bit different the way it's mounted um but you can see down into the burrs there the burrs are obviously different the, the, that's the outer burrs there you can see them from from the top and the pentagon over there is a little bit different so that's what you're getting with those um cash cup again still one cash cup no difference there um so take that off and you can see again underneath the uh, the adjustment dial is exactly the same and um, there's no difference there there's no extra numbers there's no extra fine adjustments it's exactly the same as the pentagon Okay, let's look uh, let's have a look at what's inside the grinders what you get the burrs um so we can have an idea of what what they actually look like and i'll kind of explain a little bit more about those burrs the pentagon one, again to take the burrs out you need the grind handle on like such and then turn the adjustment dial anti-clockwise And that will loosen your burrs like so take that off and obviously leave it somewhere don't lose it your burrs the cap 
will just slide off there like that. Now these are mounted, so you can't adjust, um, sorry, you can't calibrate these, these burrs, they're stuck. You can see there where these two pegs, they fit into that, and you can't change that. Once they're in, they're in, and whatever number you've got relating to the peg underneath, I mean, that's, that's what, that's like um, a two on that side, and kind of an eight or a seven five on that side, on there. So you, you just can't, you can't calibrate these ones, they're just not going to go anywhere. Um, so carefully take your burrs out, like such. They're quite sharp as well around this edge here, so be careful when you're taking them off. And you can see inside there where your, your spring is and your burr shaft. Okay, that's your pentagonal burrs there. Let me just quickly put these down. is this shape you can see when they fit in to the grinder they're going to be upside down or be all, actually not upside down sorry when when the, they're in there when you put them into the actual body they're going to be facing up, upwards like that so when your beans go in there they go down here and they get crushed and, and ground until they get to this point and it's kind of this that does most of the the fine grinding when it gets to that point these birds are good, they're kind of bog standard pentagonal burrs, um, they're very good for what they do, they're, they're good decent burrs, um, and like I said earlier, they're, they're really good for, I would say, pour over, these are typically pour over burrs, um, French press also, very, very, very good sort of um, burrs for that, it's only when you get to espresso that you, you kind of they've got a limitation at that point um they're not for for espresso these burrs they're, they're just they're not designed for that they'll handle like i say again for espresso using a pressurized porter filter they're good enough for that but if you want anything like more serious espresso you really need different burrs the heptagonal burrs are going to be the ones you want for that plus the micron size for these being 28 it's just not got the fine adjustment they're too big for espresso to actually dial in a decent espresso shot you need really small microns for that so these are just not not able to do that um so yeah that's that's your pentagonal burrs and they're okay i'm not sure if um once you press are all going to continue with this grinder maybe they'll keep it i i just I, I don't see really the point of keeping that moving forward and i'll explain a little bit more about that in a moment when i talk about the heptagonal um q2 so you got that there, that's, that's your pentagonal. Um, your heptagonal again, you need to take your, you need to take your catch cup off, like so, put that down, and then turn it over, get your adjustment dial, and take that out. Same, same thing, take these off, carefully take them off, and then put those down there, and then your burrs, again, take them out, be careful again with those because they're quite sharp. Right, that's your heptagonal burrs, they're seven, seven cutting heads or core, if, if people are not sure about what a core is, it just means cutting heads, how many of these kind of spokes you're getting, I suppose, that do the actual cutting. And you can see, let me just quickly put this down also. Okay. And you can see on these heptagonal burrs, these are very similar to what you're going to get in something like the K series burrs, but smaller. Once you press O, um, I've had this grinder for quite a while now. I've been selling their products for about two years now, maybe just over two years. And they had these burrs advertised on their website and you couldn't buy the heptagonal grinder from the website that I use as a dealer. They just had the picture of the burrs and I kind of asked them a few times about it and they were a little bit vague about it. But this grinder has been available in China and Taiwan for all of that time. 
and it gets rave reviews. It's really popular because it's a very nice little grinder. And the reason it's a nice grinder is because of these burrs. They're very similar to what you're getting in a common dandy C40. They're pretty much the same burrs, exactly the same cutting edges on the actual cutting heads. Um, these, again, are 38 millimeter burrs. The ones from the common dandy C40 are uh, 39 millimeter but they're the same burrs, exactly the same. So you're gonna get pretty much the same flavor profile from this grinder, the Hepigonal Q2, as what you get from the Common Dandy C40. Now a lot of people kind of, you know, people talk about that and I've seen other videos where they're talking about it. And that's the reason. Actually also the micron size with it being 28 is very similar also to the C40, the Common Dandy C40, because that's, I believe is, uh, 30, 30, yeah, that's right. Commandant C40 is a 30 micron adjustment. Um, so I would say flavor profile is very, very similar. There's obviously differences in the materials and the size of the grinder from the Commandant. Um, this is a good little grinder. It's quite solid. The materials are okay, but it's a lightweight grinder. There's a difference in capacity also. Obviously, this is a smaller capacity grinder than the Commandant. So there's that also. But if you can look past, you know, the, the kind of, the fact that the, the grinder is a little bit lighter, it's more for traveling or, you know, a lightweight grinder. And the, the only downside I can see is obviously the capacity. But if you can look past that, then this is an excellent grinder for like about $100. It's way less than the common dandy. And that's the only thing that I can see, like I say, is the, is the capacity, is the only difference. Do you want to pay maybe $250 more for that, that slight extra capacity by the Commandante? If you want to save $250 and can take that hit in a few grams, then this grinder here, definitely. Um, and you can see again the difference between the two burrs here. That's what you're getting. That's really the main difference in this grinder. The body's the same, the weight is the same, it's got the same settings, the same numbers, the same grind range exactly the same it's just these burrs and and that's the difference there this one um i would say i don't want to kind of be critical of this grinder the, the you know the pentagonal grinder it's a little bit cheaper but honestly you'd be a fool not to pay that little bit extra and get this grinder here because of the flavor profile and and how fast it grinds it's a much better a much faster at grinding than this pentagonal version and it's really worth it just for that little bit extra money. So, so that's what I suggest anyway, but that's what you're getting there. Anyway, I hope that video is helpful to people when they're a little bit confused about the two Q2 grinders. Um, I can say if there's anybody who wants any more information or they're just not clear about something, please, please message me down below and I'll kind of be happy to, to answer any questions about that. Um, I hope this video is helpful to people and if you like it, please please give me a, thumb, like a thumbs up and subscribe because that's the kind of way I'll know if people want to see more content like this. So yeah, anyway, thank you very much for watching and have a nice day and stay safe.